hello guys welcome back to another video in this video we're going to solve question number 22 from the CBSC sample paper 2024 for accountancy if you haven't checked the previous videos please check them out the link is in the description box below the entire playlist you can find there where solutions are made easy for you to understand and solve in lesser time in the examination if you want to get notified hit the bell icon so that you get the notification whenever a new video is shared let's get started with this sum here this is the dissolution sum where we are required to pass journal entries Sun and Kiran are partners where, who are sharing profits and losses equally they decide to dissolve their firm the assets and liabilities have been transferred to realization account so no entry required for that pass necessary journal entries for the following all the partners agreed that the process of realization at the time of dissolution will be accomplished by Sun and for which he will be paid rupees 10,000 along with the amount of expense which amounted to 2% of total value realized from the assets on dissolution. Some assets were sold for a cash for cash at a cumulative value of 12 lakhs and the remaining were taken over by creditors at a valuation of 3 lakhs. So total value realized from assets is 15 lakhs, 2% of 15 lakhs is 30,000 plus a remuneration of 10,000 that means a total sum of 40,000 is payable to Sun for that the journal will be straight away realization account debit okay to Sun's capital account okay straight away 40,000 Let's write the narration being this is 10,000 is called the remuneration which is paid to Sun for the amount for the realization activity and rest 30,000 is for the expenses. So being remuneration and expenses payable to Sun. Okay. Now here we have another journal that we pick up which is some assets were sold for cash at a cumulative value of 12 lakhs that also has a journal entry and that is cash account debit right to realization account it's important to pick these these are missed out by many students when they are doing the actual calculation so straight away narration will be being assets realized okay don't miss this out however for the creditors there will be no journal because the creditors and the assets they set off the both are already there in the realization account being transferred so they set off against each other we don't get a journal for that Moving to the next one, Deferred Advertisement Expenditure Account appeared in the books at 28,000. Now this is a fictitious asset. This is not transferred to the realization account. Rather, this is distributed among the partners or rather debited to the partner's capital account in their profit sharing ratio. In this case, it is equal. So the journal for this will be Sun's Capital Account Debit. Okay. Straightforward Kiran's capital account debit Next we have two advertisement Suspense account or advertisement expenditure account as given in the question Advertisement expenditure Account the amount is 28,000, so straight away 14,000 each will be distributed. So, narration will be straightforward being advertisement expenditure debited to partners capital account 
in their profit sharing ratio of 1 is to 1 all right so number b is done let's move on to number c out of the stock of 120000 kiran a partner took over one third of the stock at a discount of 25% so let's do the journal for this portion kiran has taken over so one third of the stock means 40000 worth of stock out of 120 40000 taken over at a discount of 25% 25% means one fourth. So 40,000, the one fourth of that is 10,000, that is a discount. So 30,000 is the value of the stock which Kiran is taking over. That is the value of taking that over, right? So that will be Kiran's capital account debit. To realization account. One thing to remember since all the assets and liabilities are already transferred to the realization account. So in the journals, the asset account will not appear. Everything will be through the realization account. Being as stock taken over, we have the specific asset name. Being stock taken over. Okay. Then the second portion and the 50% of the remaining stock. 50% of the remaining 40,000 gone from here remaining is 80,000 right out of 80,000 50% that means 40,000 40,000 was took over by a creditor of 30,000 in full settlement again similar entry to this one the creditor and the stock both are already part of realization account they will set off against each other we don't require any journal for that right the last one the balance amount of the stock realized 25,000 the balance 40,000 it realized 25,000 so straight away that will be cash account debit to realization account okay that will be 25,000 that is being stock realized this one is done let's move on to number d an outstanding bill for repairs and renewal of 3000 was settled through an unrecorded asset which was valued at 10000 being the balance being settled in cash so out of this unrecorded asset, 10,000, 3,000 is already used for settlement of this outstanding bill. Since these are already set off against each other, there, there will be no entry for that settlement. However, the balance amount that we have received that will be passed through realization account and that is also cash account debit to realization account okay realization account amount will be 7000 the balance which we are recovering from the unrecorded assets so being amount realized from unrecorded assets after settlement of outstanding bill for repairs and renewal after settlement of bill for repairs and renewals All right, so these are the journals that we have for this sum. Be careful, do not miss out any of the journals that we have in the entire sequence. If you like it, if this was helpful, hit the like button to share with your friends who can get benefit out of it. 
We'll catch you all in the next video with the next sums that we have. Stay tuned till then.